If you lived here back in the 90s, you may remember this next story, the disappearance of four-year-old Catherine Mary Lugo in January of 94. Her mother's boyfriend was arrested in connection with her kidnapping, but he was acquitted at trial. And of course, that case has never been solved. But tonight, CBS 12's I-Team reporter Janielle Wall tells us why there still may be hope as some abducted children grow up never realizing who they really are. It's been 27 years with no sign of four-year-old Catherine Lugo since the day she disappeared. Investigators have never found a trace, no scrap of her clothing, no hints of her remains. So is it possible that she's still out there somewhere? The answer surprised us all. Shadowed by last month's kidnapping of her four-year-old daughter, Catherine. If you turned on the TV in early 1994, Catherine Lugo was everywhere. The urgent search for the four-year-old girl from Riviera Beach made national news. She was even featured on America's Most Wanted. And throughout every twist and turn, CBS 12 News was there. And police have searched a wooded area near Moya's home. But so far, there's been no sign of the little girl. I just need Catherine right now for everything to be okay. I have nothing to do with Catherine's disappearance. I have absolutely nothing to do with it. Today, the case is long gone from the headlines, and Catherine's mother has long since moved away. But her grief is still sharp three decades later. My fear is that everybody forgot that she's still missing. That she'd never came. It's hard for Frances Moya to talk about her little girl. She says on the morning of January 8th, 1994, she went to work and left Catherine in the care of her then boyfriend, Mizba Kazi. When she returned home, Catherine was gone. Kazi told her he sent the toddler to his native Bangladesh, where she would stay until Frances gave him full custody of their newborn baby. Retired Riviera Beach police detective Pat Galligan led the investigation. And I put those pictures down and I said to him, where is she? Tell me now. This is his reaction. He puts his head down and starts sobbing. Right then and there, that's a red flag for me. I go, he either harmed this girl or killed her. One or the other. He did something to her that wasn't good. Police charged Kazi with kidnapping, but never found the child. At trial, a key witness who said Kazi was the last person seen with Catherine recanted her story. The prosecution's case fell apart. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case, not guilty. Kazi walked, but investigators didn't give up. Jeff Danik was the FBI special agent in charge. We uh, really pulled out almost every stop on that. We sent people into Bangladesh, into the villages. Uh, we circulated international photographs. We pulled massive flight records. The FBI's worldwide dragnet turned up nothing, even with a $10,000 reward. So the Bureau turned its attention back to Mizba Kazi, their only real suspect. In the midst of that, Kazi committed another crime in California, and we pivoted to solving that crime, hoping that that adjudication would cause him to cough up more of a, his story in this case. Kazi was convicted of attempted murder in California, where he's still serving a life sentence. Authorities have offered deals in exchange for information about Catherine, but he's not talking. My hope is that before I die, that I'd be able to at least find out what she's at. And if she's dead, just have her remains with my family. Yeah, people don't want to hear that, that I believe she's dead. But I believe as an investigator and have done investigations, I do, I do believe that. Uh, all the power to the new investigators. I hope, that, I, hope they, I hope they do prove me wrong. I really do. Riviera Beach police have assigned new detectives to the Lugo case, telling the CBS 12 News I team in a statement, in the near future, we are planning to get with the FBI in attempts to interview Kazi again. At this time, there is no reason to believe Catherine is deceased. I have the photo of Catherine lined up with the age progression. So Another organization looking into the Lugo mystery, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Every few years, their forensic imaging unit updates Catherine's missing person photo. These age progressions show how she might have looked at age 12, 14, 16, 
and at 23 years old in 2013. That's so important because no matter how much time passes, we never give up on uh, the hope of finding these long-term children. Colin McNally says his team has produced thousands of age progressions like this one over the years. And believe it or not, about one in seven missing children have been recovered based on these images. Even in cases as old as Catherine's, miracles have happened. Uh, my first thought was, oh my God, that's me. Steve Carter was in his 30s when he saw his age progression photo in the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's database. The Philadelphia man never knew he was abducted, then adopted, until years later when he solved his own case. Carlina White recognized her photo in the database and she reunited with her family after 23 years. Teenager Julian Hernandez also saw himself and realized he had been abducted 13 years before. I don't lose hope because this, this has been a lot of cases where kids have been found years after. Here is what Catherine might look like today. She'd be 31. If she's still out there, maybe someone will recognize this face. Maybe Catherine herself will see it. Frances Moya can see the resemblance. But to her, Catherine will forever be this four-year-old girl with curly bangs and big brown eyes frozen in time. She was four when she went missing. He's 31 now. And he's still my baby. He's still missing. The I team sent letters to Ms. Bakazi in prison, but he never responded to our questions. Detectives are still seeking tips, and they say you should contact Riviera Beach Police or Crime Stoppers with any information in the Catherine Lugo case. For the I team, I'm Danielle Waugh, CBS 12 News.